Major NASCAR silly season breaking news. Gene Haas is going to stay in NASCAR, but what will this new team be called and look like for 2025? Hi, hi, hi. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Check your bike. Hell yeah! What's the caution for? Mason, I know. Push it in. Stop it, buddy. Woo! Yeah! Come on, he's going. Woo! Way to go, boys. One hell of a job, man. One hell of a job. Thank you so much. I know I said it was going to be a hot minute, but we are in the brand new studio. First show back in its massive silly season breaking news. Welcome on into the program. I'm Alan Bailey. If you're brand new here, make sure that you mash that subscribe button so that you do not miss an episode. And of course, you can always log on to ARNRace.com for the latest motorsports news. ARN, the Motorsports Authority. So much to go through. We're going to do a studio tour, but before we do that, we have massive, massive NASCAR silly season breaking news. Gene Haas, the founder of Haas Automation and NASCAR team owner for more than 20 years in the Cup Series, is deciding that he is going to stay in NASCAR in 2025 and beyond. The massive breaking news that came down just a few weeks ago, the fact that publicly and to the employees, uh, Tony Stewart and Gene Haas, co-owners of Stewart Haas Racing, announced that they will be closing the team, selling the charters, and closing up shop at the end of the 2024 season this year. But Gene Haas has decided, you know what, I'm going to stick around in NASCAR. I'm going to go ahead, and we found out today from a press release after a Bianchi bomb, came out earlier that Gene Haas will continue to be involved in NASCAR, uh, forming essentially a brand new team. The brand new team is going to be called uh, Haas Factory Team. Don't like the name, but okay, sure, why not? And we know that they will be retaining one of the four charters that they currently own. We already know that the other three charters are going to Front Row Motorsports with Ford, uh, 2311 with Toyota, and a third one over to Trackhouse and Chevrolet, respectfully. And now it appears that they will retain one. Presumably the 41 charter, we're not 100% sure. Each charter goes for a little bit different money, depending on where they are in the point standings uh, at the end of the season. So, Really, this is fascinating that Gene Haas has decided, you know what, I'm going to continue to race in NASCAR without Tony Stewart. He did not have any success, no success in NASCAR uh, without Tony Stewart. When Stewart went over there and they formed Stewart Haas Racing, they merged, uh, is when Stewart brought over his people, essentially, and brought over a lot more technical know-how, a lot more resources, a lot bigger sponsors, uh, kind of solidified their relationship with Chevrolet, made them a Tier 1 organization instead of a field filler, more or less, and that's when they started to get competitive. At one point, Gene Haas fielded two NASCAR Cup Series cars on his own before Tony Stewart and when Stewart went over there uh, they became a two-car organization they stayed a two-car organization I should say and then they evolved into what is now their four-car organization now there's been no mention who's going to be in the car we do not know presumably one of the four Stewart Haas drivers but you have Josh Berry that's your legacy guy if you're trying to build for anywhere from five to ten years from now being competitive and being the guy that's who you sign you have uh, Noah Gregson who honestly is probably the same thing he's probably the guy who's going to go out there and he's clearly the better running of all of the Stewart Haas racing drivers right now who's going out there week after week and really contending and showing hey I not only deserve to be here but I'm a lot better than y'all think and this equipment's a lot better than you think he's impressing some people right now Uh, Chase Briscoe is rumored to the 19 car that announcement more than likely happening uh, sometime within the next two weeks and then you have Ryan Priest who is a paid driver he is paying to race in that car Uh, he brought his own sponsors he's not taking a salary from uh, Stuart Haas Racing from what I understand and uh, listen That is who you put in your car if you're making a business decision. If Gene Haas is struggling to pay the bills, which let's be honest, no, he's not. He is a very wealthy individual. He's not having money issues. If he can afford for Haas F1 to wreck cars left and right and have mechanical issues and failures left and right, he can afford NASCAR. It's not even a drop in the bucket in comparison. But of these four drivers, which ones stay? (laughs) I can see the case for Ryan Priest. He is a good driver, I honestly think that. And he does bring money to the table, and that is needed over at now uh, the Haas factory team. And whether or not that happens, who knows? Personally, I'd have to keep Noah Gregson. I want to keep Noah Gregson in that 10 car 
or the four car and Josh Berry. Those are the two drivers uh, and teams that I'm really looking at thinking long term here. And whether or not Gene does that, we don't know. They're still trying to figure that out. There's no mention of who the manufacturer is going to be. The contract with Ford is up at the end of the year. They have a bunch of Fords lying around the shop. It makes the most sense to kind of stay with Ford and not necessarily sign with a new manufacturer, um, not necessarily getting the Ford support either. They haven't exactly been tier one over there, and they're getting very, 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 very little support from Ford right now. And if they're okay with not getting big support from Ford... You could probably have them stay there for a hot minute with Ford and honestly just get by for the next season or two. Maybe that's the avenue. Maybe this is the perfect avenue to bring in a new manufacturer sometime down the road. Maybe that's what Gene Haas is thinking. There was rumors with Toyota coming up back into NASCAR with this race team a few years back, and it looked like it was going to happen. And then Dodge kind of shifted their attention over to the NHRA, presumably because Tony Stewart... I don't want to say told them to, but really convinced them that the NHRA is a better investment long term. And this last week, we just found out that uh, Dodge actually did extend with Tony Stewart racing in the NHRA series. I don't think that's a coincidence. Um, As far as the Xfinity program is concerned, it's going to continue to stay the same, presumably with Cole Custard in the double zero, Riley Herbst in the 98 car. Uh, But I heard that Herbst might be on the move. He's looking at his options for potentially the Cup Series next season, uh, potentially another Xfinity Series team next season. That's not a bad option for him, and it does open the door for an Xfinity Series driver uh, to possibly get in there and uh, for that organization to continue to thrive. Uh, But it does appear that they will continue to be a two-car Xfinity Series team and a one-car Cup Series team with no real information past that. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how this works out. Joe Custard is going to be the president of uh, Haas Factory Team. He's been running that operation. pretty much uh, the Xfinity Series program for a hot minute with his son obviously driving uh, the double zero, and they just won a championship last year. That cannot be ignored. That cannot be uh, looked over. The team will continue to operate out of the current Stuart Haas Racing building, so I don't want to say they have room to expand, but they certainly do, um, even though that feels weird because They are currently a four-car team. They're downsizing to one car, so they will have a lot of inventory. So whomever drives that single car certainly will have options and certainly will have a plethora of uh, cars and technology and people. And the question is, is how does the downsizing work over there? We're not sure. We're hearing that a lot of people have already jumped ship from Stuart Haas Racing. Uh, When they found out that that race team was closing, they went ahead and started looking for new jobs. And guess what? You don't want to be in a lame duck year. For drivers, they're locked in with contracts. For people working in the race shop on these cars, hauler drivers, sponsor people, they can jump ship more or less whenever they want. And a lot already have left Stuart Haas Racing for new prospects for next year and beyond. And I do not blame them. You have to take care of your family. You have to take care of yourself. And... This race team already announced that they were closing. Now, does this mean that some of those people come back? Highly doubt it. They've already been locked into new jobs, and they're going to presumably be there for years to come. Now, will we see some of the current people at Stuart Haas Racing being retained? I'm certain, but at the same time, I wonder how many people were Tony Stewart loyalists who came in there when Stewart came in, and now that it's just Gene, they see how the F1 team is run, and they're thinking, yeah, I'm out. Who knows? It, it's kind of an evolving, ever-changing uh, landscape. This does open the door, the floodgates, I should say, for Silly Season, which one of the four Stuart Haas drivers presumably will be staying at Stuart Haas, excuse me, at uh, Haas Factory Team, which is going to take a minute to get used to. Um, but we'll continue to call them Haas for lack of a better term. Who's going to stay at Haas? We're not sure. Which car number stays at Haas? Frankly, the 4, the 10, and the 14 are all Tony Stewart numbers. The 10, not so much. The 4 and the 14 were Tony Stewart numbers. So either I see the 10 or the 41 remaining, and if I'm Gene Haas, I'm taking that 10 car. I'm going to go ahead and make that number 10 kind of my car and just run with it. Even the 98 was a Ford thing. That was Ford's number. Maybe Haas goes back to double zero in the Cup Series, and we see double zero in the Cup Series, double zero in the Xfinity Series, and another number all together in the Xfinity series for that current 98 team. Who knows? Um, 
it's going to be fascinating to see how this plays out. But I want to hear what you have to say about this. I want to hear what you think about the brand new studio. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. And while you're there, make sure that you mash that subscribe button so that you do not miss an episode. And of course, log on to ARNRace.com for the latest motorsports news. ARN, the Motorsports Authority. Construction here literally just ended. I'm I'm fairly happy with everything that's gone down here. Yes, I do have a, a reel uh, here and some other cool stuff kind of behind me that I'm I'm running around trying to give you a better view of. But we're going to go ahead and give a full studio tour. That video is probably coming out this weekend, next weekend. We're not sure. It's going to come out at some point, but. Uh, let me know what you think of the brand new studio in the comments down below and about this brand new Haas factory team team in NASCAR and who you would like to see in the one cup series ride. Go ahead and leave it down below for shifting gears. I'm Alan Bailey. We'll see you at the track.